Uh, g'day scrappers. Well, it looks like another week in the life of V-Waste Ben. Uh, we'll see how we go. <coughs> Just how the, the week turns out, but uh, starting off, we've got to get rid of all this cardboard that I accumulated last week. All the Cisco stuff and so I'm here at the cardboard paper plastic recyclers and yeah awesome they're still in operation so bring them some free cardboard and well This is the only place that I know of now that uh, still accepts free cardboard, so yep, unfortunately, they want to charge for it now. So. And all they do is they, from the other side, they've got a conveyor belt and they, a massive compactor uh, this will take a while so many boxes Wow. So, not sure what I'm going to do for the whole week. No doubt, there's... I mean, there's so, so much to do. Uh, but... I did get quite a bit done, um, you know, last week preparing for board sales and all that, so. <sighs> we'll see how we go. It's jam packed. Oh, <clears throat> uh, well, this is really a convenient place because it's just around the corner. So, uh, Considering, you know, the Cisco switches are only um, only scrap, and they're only worth a couple of bucks each. It's more trouble just uh, dealing with all the boxes and all the packing stuff. So, yeah, no, nah. no. Nah, After call again, I'll say I'll pick them up, but you've got to take them out of the boxes. Uh, it's just dealing with their rubbish, you know. Bugger that. You kind of learn from your mistakes. Um, I mean, if they were sellable Cisco's, yeah, all right, you know, because I would have been able to sell them with the boxes and all.
All right, well, there's all my boxes. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, let's go back and uh, do some work. Um, yeah, so all I'm doing here is um, just to uh, give me more room for to work out what I'm uh, actually doing. Uh, just loading up the the van with all the scrap laptops um, ready to take to my buyer when I book them in um, so yeah quite a lot of laptops um, to send off as usual Um, thankfully not as many hard drives this time as uh, normally I'm, I've, you know, the last few times it's been like 15 or 18 crates full of hard drives, so, um, yeah, there's actually less and less scrappers um, bringing me stuff because, uh, yeah, there's just less street scrapping going on now, so they're finding, you know, they're not getting the chance to pick up much, and so most of the stuff I'm buying are from smaller recyclers, you know, that kind of do what I do. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Just gonna empty what little I picked up. I mean, it's just around the corner, so this is just uh, mostly uh, laptop motherboards that he's had in his workshop. Um, just stuff like that. You know. That. Still. I'll take it, you know. And power supplies. It's all good. Even a heater, I think, yeah. Power supplies. Uh, different types of cable. Oh, some old DVDs. Uh, a couple of laptops in there as well. That's all right. I'll take this in. So I've got... Uh, <laughs> I've got two uh, last-minute callers. Uh, scrappers want to bring me boards. So... Oh, uh, well, since I'm open up, I'm here. I'm not doing any pickups. Um, they can come and uh, bring me their stuff. <laughs> Just as quick as I process, just more stuff keeps coming in. And yeah, I've got to get into, th there's quite a few laptops over there as well. Um, yeah, they're pretty much everywhere all right well i'm just gonna continue on uh, stacking these laptops and packing them stack and pack um yeah sometimes depends on who i get them from um i go I'm pretty sure I've probably gone through this batch. Um, not sure. But I just like to, um, if they don't have too many screws, yeah. So 
this is what I also recommend guys that are bringing me laptops as scrap um, you know if you've got the time if you can be, can be bothered you can take out the RAM um, obviously the RAM is you know worth uh, a lot more um, as it is then you know like you know 15 or nearly 20 times more valuable selling it to me when they're complicated like that I don't bother it's just too much hassle but um, you know it's still uh, it does use up time and which is something we don't really have normally but uh, Oh, you know, you know, get a little laptop, a uh, little little RAM stick. Why not? Um, like I said, these go with scrap, so they just get shredded up anyway. Um, so it's not necessary to have the RAM in there. It's probably better for them, but. Yeah. But even just putting these RAM in the, uh, sorry, the, the laptops in the van, just, you know, gets them kind of out the way. And I can focus on, you know, the things that I need to scrap and stuff, you know, for the week and, and uh, just keep scrapping stuff that I can get things out that I'm going to sell like circuit boards hard drives RAM things like that yeah so it doesn't look like I've gone through any of these uh, yeah there you go this one's got two so yeah you can be as rough as you like because these ones are uh, not going to be sold. Too old. They've got to be i5 these days. Really good i3s. Or, uh, you know, these are uh, old AMD. Alright, so I'll just continue on and uh, load up the van with all these laptops. And, uh, what was this? Yeah, Centrino buyers just don't don't want them. And sometimes the screws are just so fine. Pretty sure I've yeah, pretty sure I've gone through through these ones. All right, yeah, I'll just continue on here and uh, hopefully I can, uh, like I said, I've got two, two people coming um, soon, so it's just um, never really get a chance to uh, focus on one thing because so many distractions and phone calls coming and dealing with clients, but uh, yeah, I think uh, we're going to make some good inroads today. And um, then for the rest of the week, just finish off dealing with these boards. Um, it's already pretty good here. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of all-in-ones now uh, starting to build up. So I've got to start processing the all-in-ones. Uh, I think the first thing I'll scrap is this uh, big server. Got to get into the PC, get all the motherboards out. Uh, these fresh all-in-ones got to go. And uh, all the laptops go to the Okay. Laptops are in. Now it's hard drives. I think I got someone just rocked up to bring me boards. 
this out. So, uh, <laughs> I haven't stopped. I've been going for a couple of hours. Nothing spectacular put on video, but uh, geez. Hey, good. How are you? Good, mate. It's been, isn't it? Yep, yep. How are you? Just, oh, it long to get across as I was expecting. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Just, just getting rid of these. Uh, yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Always busy for you, I guess. Yeah, non-stop. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Oh, mate. Millions and millions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everyone's got one at home, yeah. virtually one each, and then one at work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I like me gaming stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, PlayStation 4, they're pretty modern still, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Look, I know it's not a game or that sort of stuff, but it's, um, played a few games, I don't know if it's all right, but... Yeah. You know, the computer, so, yeah, actually, I don't play any games at all these days. I'm watching YouTube videos. I yeah. wasn't sure, look, I'll wait till you're ready, but I wasn't right. sure what sort of grade. I, I think I've got them right to the videos. Okay, I can see... There uh, might be a, pl there's a motherboard in there, but... Mid-grade uh, motherboards. Mid or mid-grades? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so I'm assuming yep. I'm taking off all the heat sinks and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, you don't have to. Except, except for that one, but yeah. Yeah, you don't have to take off the heat sinks. So oh, okay, no worries. If they've got chips on them, they're mid grade. And yeah. Oh, not much on those. Nah. Ones. So, so I wasn't sure about those ones. Yeah. I thought they were probably scrap those ones, but I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, these are just um, just a low grade. And then there was these ones I thought might might be. Yeah, okay with, the, with the chips, they're fine. Yeah. yeah, yep. And then those ones, I think. Are, I think they're still mid-grade, the, the one... Okay. I don't know what you... What, whether that's still a mid-grade and that's still a mid-grade. Yep. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, it is a little bit higher than a mid, so like this one could throw in with a motherboard. Um, so I, was looking, I think you said look for the ones with a bit of um, oh, gold corner or something? Or is yeah, it yeah. Right, or? <laughs> it's not just that. Uh, even regular mid-grades, you know, like... Depends how much other the, shit There's is. one, yeah, it's all yeah. about the rubbish yeah, and that. Okay. You know, so no yeah, like, like, not that fast anyway, so. yeah, these are just yeah, this, yeah, yeah. No so that's all there is. Um, well, look, I, I know you, I think you said you don't take power boards. No. Um, do you, do you actually want them? Otherwise, I don't know, do you ever play? Does the scrappers take them, or what's the yeah, there is um, Hearts, um, Hearts Recycler in uh, Hearts Recycler. just off Boundary Road, they're just uh, not too far, they're only. You know, less than five minutes no away. Worries, yep. They they pay. I think they might even pay up to fifty cents a oh, okay, kilo. No worries, but they're happy to take them. And yeah, yeah. Do they take other? I've got I've got a bit of other stuff to scrub. I just realised I've got some aluminium and stuff. So oh yeah, yeah. Stuff as well. yeah, yeah. It's all at their non-ferrous section. So yeah. um, there's Waybridge one gate, and the second gate yeah. um, is uh, their non-ferrous stuff. You see all, all the right. guys and around. Happy to take small lots and all that sort of stuff. Give them a go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's one customer taken care of. Watch it, Chuck. They didn't have much at all. Um, just a guy that repairs the odd TV and fiddles around, so yeah, wasn't a great deal, but still, he got rid of him. And we keep going. So, so I've only got uh, six crates of hard drives so far. Um, I don't think I'll get much more till the end of the week. All right. So. So we've got our laptops in there, six crates of hard drives, 
and as I'll scrap PCs I'll get a few more hard drives I can throw in um, but that's it as far as the scrap laptops are concerned quite a lot actually not a bad little load of laptops okay so the only other thing I'm going to put in now at the end is uh, the RAM so load the RAM up and that'll be the three things that I take to my buyer and the truck that comes they'll load up all the boards and we're uh, cooking with gas all right that's another job done or oh, partly I, I keep forgetting I've got to do the RAM and I've got one more scrapper coming to bring me boards so whilst I've got the the other the van out of the driveway I'll um watch it chook I'll load up with the ram um, okay. I just haven't picked right through this tub just taken um, skimmed the top and so I don't really want to go there and then tip it and then find that there's shielded ram but it kind of doesn't look like it and all the rest that I've got it's all done clear Yeah, I might just uh, just go through a little bit more, fill up a couple of buckets, and uh, it'll it'll make it easier to uh, empty and load into the van. So I've got uh, that tub there, and this barrel here is all ready to go. That's good. Yeah, so I'll just uh, fill up a couple of buckets. Because any with the shield, I'm just going to have to take back. And, you know, I want to get rid of as much as I can and start fresh. But, you know, RAM builds up, but when you're filling up a tub of it, it is a slow process because, you know, like you imagine, there are a lot of PCs that you, like that I get, and they don't even have a RAM stick, so, and some only have one. Yeah, sure, some have got four, but, you know, so it's can go through a lot of is that yeah that's kind of like a shield so it can do uh, thousands of seat um, PCs I know it's kind of a shield but not really um, oh yeah that looks better it removes the first BGA but it's mostly just a sticker over the BGAs. So. But after uh, depopulating, you know, partial depopulating boards and uh, getting everything prepared for sale, I'm kind of looking forward to just going back to <laughs> regular scrapping, you know, uh, processing PCs and I forgot um, I showed you the batch of uh, Cisco switches well and then I've got these Cisco switches and hey look no laptops 
I've got these, but then I forgot all about uh, another batch of Cisco switches that are very different. So I'm going to have to do a bit of a session on Cisco for a while once all this is done. All right. Well, it doesn't look like there are any rams with shields. So that's pretty darn good. All right. Yeah. I'll still I'll fill up the tub and it'll just be easier. Gosh, so many thousands. All right. Good, good. Where are you? Yeah. Hi. Good. Come, Vanessa. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to see you. Um, okay, I'll just grab the boxes. There's a couple of boxes of motherboards and some hard drives. All right. <sighs> okay, so second customer for the day. All right, well, next on the job list is I did a pickup and um, I haven't uh, put the uh, actual pickup in this video because I'm making a, a video of a week of pickups so that'll be in that video but um, I've still got an empty <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, this was from a hospital research centre, so I got some. I got a, I got some really amazing things here. A couple of amazing things, but for now, just uh, the last bits were just uh, stainless steel. It's, act it's actually a nice stainless steel tray. So yeah, this is uh, a hospital research centre. There's two of them that are regular clients of mine. Um, so I've got to obviously empty the van because yeah, I've got um, quite a few pickups to do and keep the van empty. Uh, ready for them because my other van's full. Uh, how am I going to do this? It's going to be little bits by little bits. Yeah, right, right at the end. There's a lot of uh, PCs. Uh, you'll probably see that in the other pickup, but you'll probably see it now anyway. But right at the end, I said, "Oh, if you need to get rid of this, uh, your aluminium and steel and scrap, I'll take that too." Oh yeah, no worries. You know. Um, so. This is extruded. Just needs to uh, need to um, take out sort of rubber grommets in there. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> a nice full load, and um, it's you know overloaded in some sections, and um, this is one of the main reasons why I like to bring this old van as opposed to uh, my new van because uh, you know the side panels get damaged and that and yeah, I just want to keep the new van um, as good as I can until uh, I get rid of the old van one day if the old van ever conks out on me but uh, it's uh, it's been great uh, what I've, I've had this since I started e-waste recycling, probably eight years, and it's 
certainly done a lot of uh, a lot of work as you can see uh, hospital stuff a lot of um, stainless steel obviously they use a lot of stainless steel and how's that select vaccines diagnosis rack gosh freaky stuff <laughs> but you know since I'm there why not you know ask you know load up all the e-waste that's all the priority stuff that they want to get rid of but yeah why not ask you know and say oh you know I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that for you you know and they're like oh yeah great bonus you know <laughs> yeah so and I've got some awesome stuff here um, I'll show you them they're apparently they're titanium so let me just get rid of this but the uh, the main thing was uh, a real nice surprise on uh, four or five silicon graphics PCs. Uh, absolutely, uh, I've I've never seen this particular model, so I'm looking forward to having a look at them and I'll show you them. Just got to work out where to put this stainless steel. Uh, it's just going to have to go into a real freaky place because uh, I have to also make I have to make room for the next three pickups so it'll just get in the way if I just uh, uh, yeah it might have to all go here for now that's why I can't uh, grow anything in the garden because it's, it's my backup storage space but it's only stainless I don't normally uh, accumulate much stainless steel but in jobs like this and then I've got to go and do an, uh, the second research centre in uh, pickup number four and that might bring me more stainless but that's oh that's cool it's a little little rack actually uh, I won't scrap that I'll keep that that's awesome only because it's stainless steel beautiful little really solid trays and uh, that would wouldn't be cheap <laughs> so I'll keep that and I did uh, from this place I did pick up quite a few UPS's but only the smaller ones at the at pickup number four that's where they usually have the giant UPS's um, so I only just got rid of batteries and yeah it's going to be built up again quicker than I thought all right okay box of goodies more cards that's a nice one radian Ah, doesn't even look like it's been used it's still got the original plastic covering ah, that didn't take long already got a bit of rain coming ah.
got a lot of these Max, the all-in-ones. Um, the black back have no value. Believe it or not, there's no resale value. They're just not worth uh, my buyer uh, dealing with them. It's such a low price. Um, but he will buy the silver back ones, which is a shame because some of these are really big, but there's a silver back. So, and it's a huge one. So that'll have some value. Uh, resale value uh, obviously most of the value goes to my buyer not me <laughs> but yeah this one see silverback looks good beautiful now I'm hoping oh yes 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 silicon graphics keyboards for my look at those silicon graphics pcs right and and mice original mice wow there's two here and that's another mouse oh that's that's also a silicon graphics 101 clicky Silicon Graphics, that is super collectible. Got to really look after this stuff. Um, like super collectible for me, anyway. Uh, I'll have to look up what the PCs are. But that's them, and they're absolutely beautiful condition. The um, they were saying to me as I was putting them away, they were saying, "Oh, the guy that kept onto these at the research centre." Uh, they've been trying to get rid of them for years but the guy said no nah, no nah, these are the you know ants pants and uh, I don't want to get rid of them so finally they convinced him to just get rid of them and make room and there's four or five can't remember which is awesome because it gives me a chance to pick the worst one and have a good look at it and just uh, obviously uh, still keep it, keep bits for parts, power supply, RAM, or however the memory is. But that is in beautiful condition. Fantastic. Wow. And this is, yeah, the AT101. Uh, made in USA. Uh, Silicon graphics PCs were my dream um, and after that I kind of lost interest because they were so expensive but there's three mice there and usually the original mice can be really um, can be one of the hardest things to get and that's also a silicon graphics mouse so it's got three buttons back in the day before they had the wheel so four mice now okay these black backs I don't have to store under cover because they're only going to be scrapped unfortunately I hate it but my buyer just uh, is not interested and if my buyer can't do anything with them because <laughs> um, the, the grey backs you know, they go to, uh, like, overseas and stuff, right? And so they're going to, you know, prepare them, reformat the hard drives, get it all working, make sure they're working, and then pack them into a container and send them, you know? And so, apparently, for the little money that they get for the blackbacks, um, it's just not worth sending it all the way overseas because they're not really getting any profit out of it. Uh, so a gigabyte. The 
there might be more in there but this one here yeah it looks it's still got the sleeve so it hasn't even been used doesn't look like it otherwise it wouldn't never have the sleeve on it so I'm gonna keep that nice and safe all right well this is going to be interesting rest of the week it started off pretty slow but uh, it's just going to get more and more crazy I think okay so these are the things um, oh, these things are actually titanium and I can't remember what he said they're called I'll have to go back in the other video but uh, they spin at 100,000 revolutions per minute or something and yeah that is all titanium apparently right so these would have been super expensive um, apparently they can't uh, once they reach a certain age they can no longer use them because they rotate at such a incredible speed um, yeah they have to replace them and it's just another reason why you know especially research institutes hospitals and that they they need so much money you know like donations and stuff because the equipment that they use is just super expensive so there you go for use in J series instruments this one is 20,000 rpm made in the USA okay and that's it nice nice tone to it and yeah apparently this is titanium and they put uh, no doubt they put vials in there or something you know and they sp spin them and uh, and that's it so it looks like there's three big ones and three small ones Oh, actually this one oh yeah same size I thought it was bigger but he said oh you know he was gonna they also uh, they get a an occasional scrap metal guy to come and pick up he said oh, I was gonna give these to the scrap metal guy but if, if you want them I said yeah titanium no worries so here's one Mac that I need to uh, take care of and put it inside. Oh, wow. That's super heavy. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them things. I don't think scrapyards buy titanium. Um, I don't know what they could be used for other than what they kind of are. But, and you'd need a, because you can't just cut them in pieces and melt it. You'd have to melt them um, complete and, uh, I'm just, uh, I mean, it's not a regular furnace. You'd need a, one of those industrial size furnaces. It's possible to take it to a foundry and say, hey, I want to melt these, melt these down and uh, turn them into titanium ingots or ingots. Depends uh, how you like to call them. So yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I'll just get a magnet. Can't remember. 
if titanium is magnetic or not no i mean <laughs> you could just throw them into cast aluminium i suppose but uh i think titanium is worth uh, a lot more than <laughs> aluminium found another base actually uh, gosh where do i put these for now i need my tub back okay i'm getting to what i want in here is a silicon graphics pc that's one couple laptops all right there's two this one a bit scratched silicon graphics i've never even seen this uh version i'm gonna have to look them up wow and that's three there was four keyboards i'm pretty sure there's one more somewhere in here um yeah it's uh i'm pretty sure i don't know can't remember now oh well i'll just keep <sighs> taking stuff in these are um kind of uh, i think they're inverters isolation transformers heavy duty I'll keep a couple of them I'll probably keep them all I don't, again I, I don't know why but <laughs> you know me that's what I do and I don't get a whole lot for uh, monitors anymore it's kind of not even worth taking them to to the buyer he only gives me a couple of bucks each and it's ju it's just storing them that's the biggest problem quite a lot of laptops some of them look pretty good and and yeah more Macs and there's a whole heap of uh, PCs under all this the weather is going to get very miserable very soon so I'm uh, well, that didn't work that's why I hate about monitors they're just too too awkward to deal with so I'm um, uh, yeah it's because I've got good stuff that I'm taking out and I might have to uh, oh gosh just trying to work out I just don't have any good flat space <laughs> to store things but um, I just want to get out those PCs or mostly I just want those silicon graphics to have a look at them and how's that chock a block full of laptops and hard drives I want to get these out of the van they're the main thing I don't really care about monitors right now uh, I'll grab them now yeah so uh, the pickup oh and actually there's an Apple PowerBook an old school power book that they've kept I hope there's a power supply for it somewhere there are a few boxes of power supplies so um, I like the old vintage Apple laptops um, probably because I had one myself um, but these silicon graphics can't believe it you know when when they gave me the first one I thought oh great silicon graphics PC it was a little bit rough the first one and then they uh, gave me another one and then another one in a bag and I thought oh oh this is even better <coughs> so
so I'm 100% sure I'll never see the silicon graphics stuff again where do I go this is the biggest problem with trying to on sale monitors is you need a lot of floor space to keep them in good condition so there's my monitor and my keyboards okay wow yeah this was the one that was i felt this is the first one they gave me and uh, it's just a little grill cover that's broken looks like it's got something missing there and these how's that they're just um, oh, okay they've got some kind of card in there wow yeah and they're silicon graphics cards how's that for uh, card bays so no doubt might might be graphics cards could be uh, you know you know all the regular type of cards graphics sound i think i went the wrong way Did I? No, that's the right way. A bit tight. So there's two cards. Just wondering. I thought they might have been hard drives or something. Um, okay, there it is. Silly, it's an O2 whatever that is is there a year there's no year uh, model cmn blah 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 but um silicon graphics o2 so i don't think they're uh like the early early ones i've got one of them it's also in a blue it's a flat one that was very vintage i think but like they said the guy didn't want to get rid of them at all and they've been keeping him for years <laughs> trying to convince him to get rid of them some of the laptops look good and here's the third one yep so I might as well keep the bag just keep it clean Ah, oh, awesome. Three silicon graphics PCs. <laughs> and uh, this one that's busted up. Okay, so this one... Okay, it's, it's a different configuration. Still got the cards, but it's a different back. Yeah. So... This is only small on the other side. It's almost like it's built into that one. Oh, and it's got this card. So whatever that is. Um, so, that's what I mean. Uh, by having a few of them, you get the option to uh, spruce up one of them and then have a secondary one, which, you know, as best you can. You know, because there are a little bit of cosmetic damage on this one. This one's good, so, and this one looks great. Oh yeah, this one looks really nice. And the back is similar to the, oh yeah, it's even got the complete grill. And uh, the back is the same as this one, and this one is just a little bit different. Awesome. So these, uh, isolation transformers again i wish i was uh, more into electronics so i could say oh yeah i can use this for this and, you know i've got no idea what to use them for but i look them up and and we'll work out what we can do with them Oh, yeah, they're heavy. You know, everything intact. 
nice. That looks like okay. That's interesting. And this one has got so like a, a is that oh okay oh that's right he was saying they use these to convert uh, US powerpoints to Australian type powerpoints so that's you know one of those with the circular I don't know that's what they were using them to convert US equipment into uh, 240 volts so don't know if that's any help for me in the use but this one's even got the whole kit and caboodle so that would be handy and then just a separate transformer on its own uh, oh yeah it's got a, an old plug on it I've got heaps of that kind of stuff anyway Okay, I'd like to get these laptops out. Oh yeah, looks like some good ones. So yeah, the next time I go to this place, uh, which is in a few more days, I'm pretty sure it's going to, be, usually they load me up with giant UPSs. <coughs> so this time, uh, the little UPSs, uh, so probably, you know, in little offices within the hospital or the research centre, and but the other place, it's loaded. And here's that Mac, PowerBook 190 CS, beautiful, <sighs> nice condition. Uh, uh, it looks like the screen might have a little bit of. Or is it? No, it's just stained. Oh no, that's fine. So, great condition. Apple PowerBook 190 series. Don't know if... I, I probably got one. I'm not sure. But most importantly, hopefully, the uh, power supply is somewhere here. Keyboards. I just cut the cords and send them off as plastic recycling. That should do. Okay. So yeah, Silverback Max, all-in-ones. Oh, and one's a monitor, one's an all-in-one. And then, still got black backs. And then, uh, old school, old school Max, the Emax, and then a whole heap of PCs that have uh, they've taken the cover off because most of them they've taken the hard drives out, uh, which is good because uh, it's going to give me a chance to pick out the the RAM because I'm not going to have obviously a chance to scrap it all out before. I send off RAM to uh, to sell. No sooner than I clear up a bit of room, cleared up a lot of this, now I'm bringing it all back, you know. <laughs> Stacks of keyboards, as usual. My prized Mac. Hey, don't see Apple PowerBooks. I got the first one, I think. Yeah, definitely the first one. That was my own that I had. Um, as you can see, it's just a never-ending process. Clear off a lot. Whole heap comes back in. And hopefully some of these laptops are... Especially Max, they can be pretty good. But they've got to be late model. Look, there's, everything is sellable in a way if, 
you know, transformer. Got plenty of them ones. Yeah, so I'll definitely keep uh, this one for now because it's got this. But yeah, all he said was they use them to convert uh, US power stuff. One, what is it? 120 volts to 240 volt. So probably not something that I really need anyway. Okay. Well, there's the start of all the PCs and Emacs. Gosh, so they've kept a few old stuff. And uh, yeah, there's probably 25, 30 PCs. Core i5, but uh, just early gen generation. The early gens uh, in PC. Uh, not even worth taking to my buyer. I mean, he he'll, he gives me less than I can get ahead of scrap. Sometimes so I think a couple times he's said, "Oh, five bucks each." So five bucks each, I get about eight bucks out of him just scrapping them, you know. So that's no good. But they just don't get much value, so it's just not worth. Yeah, so what I'll do, because <coughs> all these uh, PC covers are open because of taking out the hard drive, uh, it'll give me a chance at least just to get the RAM out. So that's just one, one thing uh, that I can move on. Uh, yeah, so all early generation i5. Um, if they're laptops, you know, sometimes get about 10 bucks for them, which is pretty ridiculous. But hey, you know, if the buyer is not prepared to pay, well, what do I do? <laughs> you know, I can beg, but it's not going to happen. So it's so either finding other guys, you know, these Dells. Pentium D XP, obviously in really nice clean condition. There's quite a few of them, but they're just scrap. Finito, there's a Core 2 Duo, again, scrap. Again, Core 2 Duo. But yeah, as you can see, uh, it's one thing doing the pickup and you know that's uh, tiring just driving and uh, doing the job as quickly as you can to get out of there because you know they're busy they're, they're doing their thing so try and get out as quick as possible so they don't think oh you know we call the e-waste guy you know who's going to spend an hour with him uh, loading up so try and get out of there as quick as possible and that way it seems more convenient for him and I get to work so even though all of these PCs are just to scrap hey scrapping is the last resort as as you know we try and sell what we can but Unfortunately, if there's no, sure I could load up, you know, like format it and delete all the, you know, put new hard drives in, but there's a, there's a thing with that as well, because if you put new hard drives in, then you've got to put the software in and Technically, legally, to put new software in, you have to buy a new version of Windows for every PC. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, larger operations, you can buy multiple licenses, but you've got to pay for every licensed PC. And so, most likely, um, 
some guys use just a, a pirated version of Windows or um, or the same one and just load them over and over again I mean legally you can't do that and so sure if they've got hard drives in them then you can just reformat the hard drive take off any data and use obviously the windows that's installed on the PC already that's fine but in a lot of cases like this the hard drives are all being removed so not much can really do that's a again they're all the same second gen i5 or core 2 duo so yeah just not worth not worth anything you know i mean a, a second gen i5 working good condition and all that yeah i might get 30 40 bucks for it retail <laughs> and who's gonna see there's a early gen i i7 so again the buyer doesn't you know i7 first and second gen are too early we're already gone up to you know eighth gen or more for i7 i'm not sure probably 11th gen uh, so the best thing to do in this case is scrap them but sell the actual cpu what are these i pack handhelds are they just empty boxes i oh, know oh yeah uh, i've never had any luck with these handhelds i pack they're like little computers but i'll look them up and uh, maybe ask my buyer if uh, he wants them because there's about uh, at least a dozen of them i think all right that'll do plastic recycling oh. so pretty much the whole day dedicated to uh, one pickup and then unloading so nothing get, has getting done and that's that's the problem <laughs> because you know obviously you know people keep mentioning i should get someone to help me if i had someone here whilst i'm doing pickups they could be processing stuff or vice versa you know um, i'd probably be able to process a lot quicker anyway um, so i could do that but minimum wages here in australia is not cheap anymore you know and so just to uh, scrap stuff out it's very low value but uh, you know it would certainly help it would halve the time for everything you know halve the time for unloading the van um, uh, well you can't really go two people to do a pickup in the van because I even use the space in the passenger seat um, to put in a whole heap of monitors and I often do that otherwise I just don't have room to get everything in and it's not worth going to do a second pickup just for a few items so as you can see got Mac lap, um, monitors um, Dells and then monitor stands in between the seat so there's what uh, eight monitors in the front seat so that's one reason why it, it wouldn't work having um, uh, two people going to do a pickup all right I'm not going to get much on this how's that Dell Core 2 Duo, too old, 
160 gig hard, uh, two gig of RAM, you know, so it's just too old, unfortunately. It's such a shame, but hey, it's not my problem. I didn't pay for it, I didn't buy the stuff. Um, they're getting rid of it, and you know what? Most clients prefer that it's properly recycled and all the everything is you know recycled properly rather than refurbishing and putting back on the market there's different different clients some like that some will say oh you know it'd be good if you could get these reused and yeah but, uh, give me a workshop a warehouse um and yeah it's too late for me because I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to be in this business forever. You know, I, you know, I'm trying to slow down. Um, you know, I should have bitten the bullet six or seven years ago and went all in, and that would be a different story now. But uh, I certainly can't see myself uh, doing e-waste. Uh, it's a nice PC, HP Pro, i5, early, they're all early. Uh, remember these Macs? Uh, they, they're pretty awkward to scrap out, but, and these, Emacs, funny. Here's a blue one. Can't remember which colour was the most rarest. It might be the purple one. It might be the blue or maybe the green. <laughs> Just going through all the colours. Got to get one right. Another there's a grey one. Yeah, they're beautiful, you know. If I had a warehouse, I'd just wrap them, clean them, wrap them up and keep them you know, pull them out 10 years time. And uh, there's an old school Pentium 3. Gosh. Get some of these boxes. All fun and games. All right. They're in nice condition. Obviously they're all been inside. Never ending. Another stack. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's about right. Okay, so. Take out the RAMs, well, they, they're all one gig, so as I said, I'm not going to get a chance to scrap them before uh, my buyer comes to pick up, so I'll do a few to get a few more motherboards out, but um, just want to get any RAM sitting around. So I can at least none in some, three in another, uh, four here. Hopefully, there's a box of loose ones around too. Usually the case. these older 512 gosh they still left some hard drives mostly in the old stuff the data is probably so obsolete doesn't matter Again. Yeah, 
every bit counts old school uh, none in there right. slowly the craziness is begun <laughs> um, well I've got uh, the weekend to process as much as I can all right guys well what I've been doing um, now since uh, the van's unloaded and all that is uh, just processing PCs um, because I've got uh, quite a few pickups to do um, that pickup was uh, the first one of uh, probably four four in four days um, well that's a long card isn't it so this must be uh, must have been used as a workstation or something oh, it's even got a i960 CPU on it Intel Wow that's uh they look uh, reasonably old school but I'll, I'll keep that aside and you know you never know just check it out uh, yeah so oh the um, those silicon graphics um, O2s they were they're also a workstation they're um, a Linux workstation um, and they're pretty much uh, it makes sense you know where I picked them up from because they were pretty much uh, um, marketed for hospitals um, imaging hospitals you know that need you know for imaging you know whatever um, so yeah it makes sense from where I picked them up from <laughs> um, and they're also like either imaging or, or you know visual uh, even uh, you know kind of like TV um, stations use them uh, even military uh, so and apparently they were um, uh, when they, they came out in 1996 and they were $14,000 US each <laughs> that's what I mean about silicon graphics and obviously the, the name says they're all silicon graphics so um, yeah very much used for graphic intense um, you know applications um, so yeah uh, Pretty darn awesome they are. Uh, so there's three of them. They're they're kind of old and a bit, you know, it was just hard to slide out the cards. It's, it's a bit creaky, but yeah, I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do with them. I'd like to keep one, and because they've got slight cosmetic damage in tiny little places they're not absolutely perfect um, but no doubt could uh, definitely put three into one and make one real perfect machine and uh, depending on how much RAM whether the RAMs are, are fully loaded and uh, but you know because they went to, they were at a, um, you know, a research centre, which is one of the biggest ones around here. Um, I'd imagine that they fully configured uh, the systems. So, yeah, so pretty darn awesome, I reckon, and. Yeah, just just not sure I'm, I'm probably just going to put them away uh, when I get uh, some space in the garage um, I find a place where I can you know put them in boxes or something and keep them safe and uh, along with all my other stuff that I've got I'll uh, one day I'll just sit down and work out what I want to do with all that um, because I, I, I doubt anyone here in Australia would say, oh, you know, I, I'd be keen on that, you know, I want that. 
so we've got a copper alley radiator. Um, needs a bit of cleaning up, but um, I'll do that later. Yeah, so I'm just uh, creating cavities for scrap and uh, maybe this Dell that I just picked up, uh, all in one. Unusual one, I've never gotten one of these before. Core 2 Duo. I get a lot of all in ones, but this one just a little bit unusual. Not sure if I'm going to know how to pop it open, but we'll just uh, see if we can find as many screws and just have a look inside, see what they, you know, what their story is. Um, yeah. Gonna get all plastic done and then not <laughs> anything else. It looks like the frame is uh, attached here. Oh, well, I'm sending some plastic out so I don't have to hold on to this stuff for too long. Okay, let's see what that does. Just want to get the see what the motherboard's all about and uh, see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, so it was a standard pickup that that one that I just emptied out, um, a regular client. But uh, yeah, sometimes just get real interesting oddball. Um, items out of it, out of that place. And we'll see what we get when we go back there in a few days time. Um, I noticed there was a bit of construction going on, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get access, but we'll, I'll give them a call before I go. I'd have to take off this little stand. Sometimes, you know, these all-in-ones, they can be really awkward to scrap, especially if you don't uh, scrap a lot of them, you know. Here we go. That might help us. Okay. All right. Very interesting. So, uh, yeah, they didn't, they didn't get the hard drive out. Um, they mentioned that they were pretty awkward, like the, the Mac all-in-ones. They're quite awkward if you don't know, too, how to scrap them. Uh, because uh, the, the way to get into the, the Macs is first you've got to take out the screen and you need like a suction cup to um, do it and so if they've never done it before they'd say oh this is impossible okay when uh, hard drives have got little brackets and stuff uh, to sell them as scrap hard drives You've got to take off the rubbish, you know. Yeah, some of them got just screws in there to clip in. They're okay, uh, but uh, so
I'm not even going to bother taking this out because it's it's a pretty much it's a nothing board anyway. Uh, so I just leave it in. Scrap steel. All right. So yeah, I've got to just uh, process as much as I can today. Um, I'm not going to you know, do it all on video, uh, but. just to make more room for what's to come and so as I mentioned I'm doing a video of the pickups so it's either going to be three pickups in three days or four pickups in four days and uh, there's power supply how's that for a little power supply that's cute uh, so I'm assuming we've got the motherboard down here All right, well, there's our little motherboard. Oh, it's got two RAM, always a bonus. So what have we got? One gig RAM sticks. So just scrap RAM. It's all right. The more the better. And uh, the best part is it's one out the way. And got those uh, ThinkPad, quite a few of them. <coughs> I should start looking at processing as well. Okay, so just clean off the screws and we've got a copper aluminium radiator. Uh, which you might have seen last week or so. Pretty good price for the copper aluminium. I was getting, I got five dollars a kilo, um, which is pretty darn good. There we have it. A ah, cute little motherboard. Hey. Just a old school pinless CPU. No real value there. Just take out the battery. And there we have it, ready to go. To be sold as a motherboard. And we're done with this. <coughs> uh, I'm not going to bother taking off this plate here. Just going to take out the power supply. Just the DVD, a couple of fans. You know, could take off the plate and get a little bit more wire through, but I might as well just leave the plate on it. And I might be able to get rid of this as scrap steel. All right, so there we go. One all in one, done. <laughs> Start wrapping up the video, because um, it's just going to be me processing random PCs um, that I just got in just to, uh, yeah, 
I might actually do, let's give one of these, uh, oh, it's an i5. It's an early, you know, first or second gen i5, maybe third. That's about it, I think. Not really sure. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I won't get any money for these. Um, and it'll be more of uh, just a waste of time bringing them into uh, my buyer. So, no, nah, I don't want them, you know, and I've dragged them all there and used up other space and end up bringing them back anyway. And so... Nice chunk of steel. All right, yeah, and see a hard drive in there. Looks like they're gonna be quite, quite decent inside. Um, just hoping it's not gonna to be too complicated to get in. They, you know, they're quite nice. They would have been quite nice, you know, uh, in their time. Uh, Wow, quite a decent setup. Uh, I've got to, before I send this off plastic, I've got to take out this plate of steel. At least it's something to sell. There we have that. And plastic away for now yeah yeah so yeah another video of you know a week of me <laughs> uh, what I'm doing um, th the next videos are going to be probably a little bit better or you know, the next one it's just an idea of my pickups see what I'm picking up and have a bit of fun that way and uh, just give it a bit of, you know, the video is a bit of variety and um, it's also just another uh, version of what I do on a week to week, but instead of just uh, what I do here in the workshop, it's, you know, about, you know, what I do out, out and about, picking stuff up. Um, that's cast aluminium actually so that's pretty good interesting piece a couple of fans hard drive Was it a 500 gig hard drive? So pretty much useless anyway. But if it was a you know i5, um, I don't know, fifth gen, um, yeah, I definitely would have put them aside to sell. Um, Power supply. Yeah. Well, here's our motherboard. And might have to remove these fans. Tiny little screws here. Uh, 
There's our little um, copper aluminium radiator. This one, not much copper there, so I'll probably end up just throwing this into uh, just regular aluminium. Because when there's not much copper, they, they don't look that good in the pile when you take them to the scrapyard. Well, so compared to Max, um, all in Mac, all in ones, these are a, a, a lot more simpler. So that's good. The Max, the the black backed ones, you know, uh, I've got a got no choice but to scrap them, either scrap them or just give them pass them on to another recycler that wants to send them off um, because it's certainly way too time consuming for a larger business to um, scrap them out but uh, I've got to get rid of this to get to one screw Okay, and that because it's it's just ports and it's just a little board, the tiny little IC chip, but it's just not it's not going to go as a mid-grade board. Um. All right, so we'll be able to see what generation i5 it is anyway. It will say i5 and then a number, and it's the first number, um, fourth. Fourth gen. Uh, I'll keep it the CPU. Um, so it's it's kind of like uh, entry level to my buyer buying PCs. If it was laptop, yeah, you know, get a little bit, not much, but a little bit. But yeah, because they're PCs, not much because you know, like only 500 gig hard drive. So that's one thing straight away they've got to put in. Um, there's no guarantee that they actually work. So it's not worth the buyer um, taking a risk uh, and, you know, only having, you know, two out of four work or something like that. Uh, and just uh, having, you know, staff going through it and working all that out and formatting and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's not really a mid-grade either. Uh, and I'll leave that. That one will get, should get mid. All right. Well, I'm done here. That'll do. We've got the main thing. Bit more wire around the side here. All right. So these are probably because it's still mostly screen. They're probably going to have to just go to the um, uh, television recycler and just pass them off like that, um, as opposed to trying to get uh, sell them as scrap metal or anything. Cause, uh, I'll see how I go, depending on the yard I go to, but, uh, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. That's all I'm kind of doing today. Just uh, processing as much as I can. Let's have a look. So this is a lot of what I just picked up, but uh, like I said, I've probably done 10 or so PCs already. So already uh, uh, dropping the volumes, but it's these... Yep. It's these Mac all-in-ones that are going to take time. I've got to find my suction cup to get the front glass out. Um, and, you know, still got more junk of my own to do. And, um... But inside here, I've got all the uh, silverback all-in-one Macs. So... 
they you know see how awkward it is um, when I don't have space you know and there's what two four six just six of them but and one of them is the one the real giant one the first one I took out um, yeah I've got some stuff that I've got to sort out those silicon graphics keyboards and there's also IBM keyboards but there are no M1s um, but uh, you know I just make sure that I don't have, uh, you know, uh, some of the IBM keyboards I like to keep, you know, just one of each, just uh, because it's part of my IBM collection. But yeah, they're all these, and uh, I've got to look one up and see whether they're titanium or not. I reckon they're kind of cast, but they're, they're yeah. But it just says here, uh, uh, like, maximum lifetime is 20,000 runs, or to re be replaced before 2011, so... Uh, they must have held on to these for quite a while, but they feel more like cast aluminium than titanium. I thought titanium would be a really, uh, a much heavier, so I'm not sure of the difference in density between titanium and uh, aluminium, but you'd think, you know, for the size, I would, you know, they're heavy, but not as heavy as I thought, and yeah, the, the lids are definitely look like um, aluminium but uh, this is this one doesn't have a lid <laughs> it might be uh, an interesting spice rack you know if you can find tubes test tubes or vials you know and just have all your different spice racks in the kitchen you know <laughs> and lift the lid or oh, oh they, that's actually different these are tiny these, these are huge um, holes now they're interesting all right, guys, well, uh, yeah, and these uh, Emacs, they're a bit of a pain, but the G3s, um, better get through them and get everything out. So I'm going to just continue on and just doing the same thing over and over, just uh, as many PCs as I can for today, get ready for tomorrow's pickup. And then we'll just keep going. And um, yeah, so it'll be a different video next week. We'll be uh, about pickups and then maybe um, some more scrapping, interesting things if I've got any. And we'll see how we go. And then uh, I've got the board buyers eventually coming to pick up all the boards and all that. So that'll be an interesting video to see what we get, especially from, you know, because I've got a lot of RAM um, to get, off, get rid of. So that'll be cool too. Well, guys, hope that was a bit of fun. It was, yeah, don't know how this one's going to turn out, this video, but, um, oh, well, you know, because it's done every day, I kind of forget where I'm at and I might repeat myself or whatever. However it turns out, it turns out. And um, keep scrapping and uh, I'll catch you real soon.